Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I've got a pack of cons of Tark here. I'm gonna try not to dwell too much on different cards, but hopefully there'll be something interesting here and I'll be able to, maybe we'll, we'll between the two of us, we can brainstorm good use for some of these cards. Let's see, Feed of Resistance, plus plus encounter and creature control, protection from the color of your choice, always nice. Shatter. <laughs> Good for getting rid of artifacts. Awaken the Bear. Actually one of their better cards. It's not as good as the one from uh, Mir the original Mirrodin. It was 1-1 one, one green. Creature gets plus 3, plus 3, and trample. But they can't just reprint every card. Force Away. Turn a creature to your hand. If you control a creature power for grid, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. Eh. It can be useful. Again, if you've got a land you don't need, discard it to get something better. Dread Maw. Interesting card, Defender. It makes me wonder if they're going to start giving, you know, using abilities to take Defender off of things. Leaping Master. Very good. I think I have I have four foils of this. What's that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I might need to, uh, I might need to play with him before I start these videos. Let's see. I have four foils of these now. Scout the borders, reveal the top five cards of your library, put a creature or land among them into your hand, the rest of the graveyard, very good for delve, obviously. Blood fill caves, just like in the last video. Wind scout, actually a really good card. Um, easy to pump up, I, is it a serendipity? Sort of, there's not really much that can deal with it in type and standard right now. Lens of clarity. That's actually a cool card. Getting to look at the top card before you manifest it is always a good thing. Arc Lightning. Ah, I love this card. It's a reprint from Urza's Saga. Although I'm sure it was reprinted in something else before then, but originally it was in Urza's Saga. Uh, getting to do three damage. Uh, think of the, the uh, Battlefield Thaumaturgist, I think it is. It would be able to reduce the cost of your spells. And with heroic, as far as heroic triggers go, this is a really good card. Flames of the Fly Flames of the Fly Flames of the Firebrand is another good choice. Secret plans. Ah, face down creatures get plus one plus zero whenever permanent you control is turned face up. Draw a card. Really nice with manifest. Blue green might have some good things going for it. Despise. Strictly better than ostracize, I would say. I'm not sure I like the phrase strictly better, but there it is. And the rare card is. Knuckles! Captain Knuckles! Savage Knuckleblade. Uh, the <laughs> do everything creature. 4-4 four, four for 3. Always good. Savage Knuckleblade gets plus 2 plus 2 until the end of turn. You can always do that once. Put 2 in blue, return to your owner's hand. 1 red mana gains haste. So for 4, you can get a 4-4 four, four haste creature out. 2 red, 1 blue, 1 green. Um, it's easy to protect, easy to pump up. There's not very much that can actually get rid of it, so it's actually a really nice card. And in Rattle Claw cover, Colors, it's just really good. So, yeah, I think we got a good... Enforced. I think we got a good pack here. This card, Savage Knuckle Blade, should, should probably see more play. Just a good card in general. Well, obviously this pack didn't take as long to open up, but hope you saw some interesting cards and had some interesting ideas for what to play. Let's see... Should I do anything else to make the video interesting? Hmm. Well, I'll tell you this much. I'm working on an Asusa deck and a Miku Clouded Mirror deck. I got some foil generals for tiny leaders, so I'm looking forward to using them in a deck. Alright. Hope your day's going well. Uh, take care, everybody.